Welcome dear readers and listeners. Energies are now present. That will allow events that will begin to awaken many of those still stuck in the belief. The belief that the laws, traditions, and ideas that worked well in the past should continue exactly as they have always been. Many of these laws and traditions were created with the intention of helping the majority, and they were right for that time. But it is now a new and different time in which many of these old creations need to be eliminated in order for their underlying purpose to manifest in higher and more evolved forms. Hearts and minds are opening and eyes are beginning to see. As increasingly more recognize the prejudice and unfairness that underlies many current laws. As well as when they witness the childish and self-serving behavior of a few so-called leaders more focused on playing king of the castle than serving the needs of those who elected them. Change is going to be seen, heard, and experienced whereas up to now, you were simply aware that change was coming. Evolution can never be stopped. Because man's true nature as the individualization of the one omnipresent divine consciousness must and will eventually be remembered by every soul because it is reality. Those working to prevent the majority from waking out of the third dimensional dream thrive on the fear, suffering, and ignorance that it creates. The three-dimensional dream experience is the evolutionary process for many but there are some who never incarnate on Earth, choosing to evolve on other planets. Learning through experiences of duality and separation constitute an intense and difficult path not for the faint-hearted, but one that graduates strong and powerful beings of highly evolved consciousness willing and prepared to assist those following. Because of free will, those choosing to remain asleep can do so. But the world is changing and many of them will begin to understand the futility of holding fast to ideas that no longer resonate with the spiritually evolving world. Why do so many continue to resist anything not in and of the three-dimensional belief system? Why do so many world, country, state, and local leaders refuse to even consider new and better ways of doing their job? Why do so many politicians, priests, ministers, teachers, doctors, spiritual teachers, and even the general public resist change? Fear. Fear of losing status in the eyes of those they have convinced of the truth of their concepts. Fear of a hell waiting if they don't promote and even force their personal religious beliefs on others from the illusion of saving them. Fear of what may replace known ideas and beliefs. Fear that perhaps the beliefs they have built their life foundation on aren't really true. Fear of the unknown. Fear of losing the power and money that they have enjoyed from the status quo. Fear of losing control over. Become alert and aware of ever-present fear-mongering often disguised as being for your own good. Media ads and billboards promote fear. Fear of what will happen if you do or do not eat this take this medication, ignore this symptom, read this book, let children learn everything about the world, ignore some religious belief. News outlets spew a continual stream of information about negative and frightening events about to happen. Much of it is subliminal, and you are not even consciously aware of some message or promotion but your subconscious hears it. Fear is the manifestation of separation consciousness and has no divine law to support, maintain, or hold it in place because God is the only power and not subject to or affected by beliefs of separation. Fear is the self-preservation aspect of separation consciousness and is presently dominating Earth's collective consciousness which is why you are seeing so much chaos. Self-preservation is ingrained in most everyone's energy field simply because in less evolved past lives it was necessary for survival. We are not saying to ignore issues of health or safety, but we are saying that you are now ready to meet these things from a higher level of awareness, from the realization that God alone is power, and that power is within. Always trust your intuition and become aware of when you are being emotionally or mentally manipulated by some corporation, politician, religious, leader, or individual who stands to benefit from your fear. 
Be patient with those around you who fear change. Explain Earth's ascension process if the person is receptive, but never force truth on anyone. Allow those who are simply not interested in more evolved ideas or who are working to maintain the status quo to rant and rave as they please. Because the actions of human egos have no power to affect reality. In the three-dimensional belief system, peace is considered to be any activity of nonviolence. This includes treaties between countries, and actions taken and decisions made between friends and family members to maintain harmony, ignoring slights or insults, remaining silent in certain situations, and often the surrender of personal empowerment in order to keep peace. True peace is the outer effect of conscious awareness of oneness. And since oneness is the reality, peace is ever-present but not experienced in its fullness by those living in separation consciousness. Experiences of real and lasting peace will not manifest fully on earth until the realization of oneness becomes more dominant in human consciousness. However, material concepts of peace are steps along mankind's evolutionary path never to be considered irrelevant or unimportant. Every person has an ever-present yearning for peace regardless of the state of their consciousness because peace is already fully present within whether they are aware of it or not. Every soul yearns to once again be whole, to experience the reality of their oneness with God and all that God is. The desire for peace is strong at this time. But three-dimensional minds often interpret peace as having more money, and things, taking drugs, finding a better partner or job, and attaining increased recognition from others, and even eliminating those who may stand in their way. Learn to discover, recognize, and experience omnipresent peace in the ordinary even when your life is difficult. Such as in meditation, as you walk in a quiet and healthy forest. As you see the look in your pet's eyes and wag of its tail when you open the door, when you hear a baby giggle or see it smile, when reading a good book, or simply enjoying a cup of coffee with a friend. Peace in its truest sense is the omnipresent energy of oneness. Not to be attained but rather to be recognized, just as love is. Your work has begun. We are the Arcturian Group. Message for 10823, channeled by Marilyn Raphael at onenessofall.com. Thank you for watching Universal Lighthouse Galactic Messages and Spiritual Teachings. Please use your own personal discernment on all content posted. If you enjoyed the different authors that are shared, please subscribe to their content as well. You can visit our blog page at universallighthouse.com and subscribe to receive daily posts via your email. And while you are there, tune in to Universal Lighthouse Radio, broadcasting 24-7 for your vibrational needs. Again that's universallighthouse.com.